Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a quick video on how you can hide all of your inventory restocking recommendations from Amazon in one quick process. And this should help with your IPI score if restocking inventory is an issue for your IPI score on Amazon. So welcome to this video. If this video helps you out at all, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. First up, I have to give credit to where I got these instructions from. Uh, Jed Wilmot posted on a Facebook board on how to do this. I did tweak up a little bit because he says column O right here and it wasn't column O for me, which probably just means that Amazon is up dated something or whatnot. And uh, so anyhow, I have taken his instructions, written them out into a Google Doc for myself so that I can have these instructions later if I want to give this to a VA or maybe I don't remember it or whatnot. I do do a lot of SOPs for work here just in case and write down the instructions. It helps out in the long run. So you may be asking yourself, Oh, and by the way, these instructions will be, I'm just going to copy and paste them down in the description. So you don't have to pause the video and try to type this all out. You can just go highlight and copy and paste into your own SOP for your business. Now, I, you may be wondering, like, why would you do this? And IPI scores have become really important to your Amazon account over the last couple of years and they will determine how much inventory you can turn into Amazon, etc. And it is divided up into several different categories, one being restock inventory. Mostly though, they won't really want your sell-through rate if you are trying to make massive changes with your IPI and wondering where to put your time and efforts, your sell-through rate is going to make the biggest impact. But restocking inventory. If you're like me and you have a combination of replens and OA, RA, wholesale, I have a lot of items that are going to be kind of one and done. When they're done, I don't want Amazon to kind of continually think that I need to restock them. I have no plans to restock them. So before you used to be able to go in and just quickly hide things, but if you have a lot of products, this is a pretty quick, I think the whole thing took me less than a couple of minutes to follow. But in essence, you're going to go, let's see here, you're going to go to this page right here. And that was under inventory, let's see here, inventory, inventory planning, restock inventory, customize SKU button. And then on the next page, which is this setting, you're going to hit the download and wait for this download button, you know, this report request to be done. It will say in process for a while. Didn't take very long, less than three minutes, and then it will change to a little download button. You hit download, you get a text file, hit control A, control C, control V to select everything, copy everything, paste it into an Excel format. Once you get it into an Excel format, it's going to look like this. I have shortened these up for privacy. But uh, you're going to go over to this column and see how he had referenced column O. My column O doesn't look like that. So this is, let's see here, this video is being done on July 4th, 2021. Happy July 4th here. So I give you guys the dates because in six months time, this may look slightly different, but the process should still be about the same. So you're going to go to the hide item column. Basically, we want these all to say yes. We don't want the no's. So copy the yes. I just selected the first one was yes and hit the box and dragged it down so that everything was yes. Then you're going to save it as a text file. Let's see here in the instructions. You're going to just save it as a .txt file. Then you're going to go back to this page. You're going to choose the file. You're going to upload it and it's going to process. So my feed status, when it was all done, I had 872 successfully recorded 872. I didn't have any errors. It was pretty easy peasy. And that was it. Now everything is ch changed to hidden. I did check on my inventory dashboard. It did say everything was hidden. 
and this way I can go ahead, I've now streamlined this, I have the instructions for it, I can easily give this to a VA on their weekly processes to do and uh, keep all that restock kind of hidden so that it's not affecting my IPI score. That's it folks, if you found this video at all helpful, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. The bell notification will let you know when I do go live, and uh, thank you much. I hope this helped you.